Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for you today, uh, it's a new topic today, I'm going to be giving you a look at uh, various figures from Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, the first figure I've got for you today is a figure from the Saga Legends line that was released back in 2010. And the figure that I've got for you today is this guy. It is Han Solo in his Hoth outfit. Now this is a very nice figure that I managed to pick up back in 2010 as part of the Saga Legends line. Uh, I'm going to go on to the articulation itself. As you see, Han Solo does come with a uh, bold jointed head, bold jointed shoulders and elbows, silver wrists, bold jointed knees and silver ankles. He does come with a DL44 blaster pistol like so. Just give you a zoom in on that. That's the DL44 blast pistol that Han Solo carries. Hope that's coming well up on camera. So that is the DL11 blast pistol. He also comes with a removable binoculars like so. As you see, the uh, strap of the binoculars is casted really well. It's cast in a brown plastic. Uh, the binocular itself are cast in a uh, nice material. As you see, it's got the uh, end where you can see through. Uh, these are used especially for in snow conditions, like so. So they were hand sewed as binoculars for you. Um, it also comes with um, goggles as well that you can remove from the figure. You just get your hand sewed figure, You've got to be very careful. Just take them off like so. These are the goggles that Han Solo has in Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Hope they are coming well up on camera. So they are Han Solo's goggles for you. Uh, underneath you've got a really nice sculpt of Han Solo. Uh, the actor who plays Han Solo is Harrison Ford. I'll just give you another zoom in. That's the actor who plays Han Solo. Uh, the head is sculpted really well. The hood is sculpted really well. It doesn't make the head too big. So that's Han Solo's face for you. Uh, the figure itself is casted really nice. It's got a nice uh, scarf cast in a nice greyish colour. Uh, also you've got his general, sorry, Captain's Regiment logo there. Um, there's a bit of a speculation at Hasbro to whether this jacket is either blue or brown. I have recently found out that Han Solo's jacket is brown. Uh, it does come with blue slash brownish colours as well. Um, also with Han Solo, on the right hand side he does come with a holster that holds his DL44 blast pistol. Uh, the rest of the uh, figures sculpted really well. The trousers and the winter boots are sculpted really well. And overall, I'm a big fan of this figure. Uh, I managed to pick this guy up in my local entertainer store for £6 as part of a 25% off range. Um, if you haven't added this guy to a collection, add him to your collection. He's one of my favourite hand solo figures that have been uh, released from Hasbro. Add this guy to a collection. So this has been Han Solo in his Hoth gear. Just put the binoculars around his waist and his goggles back on. So this has been Han Solo. I'd just like to say thank you for watching guys. Thank you for taking some of your time to watch my reviews. And I'll be back with many more very soon. Uh, as I said uh, at the start of my review, um, I've still got various figures to show you from episode 5. And then I'll carry on to episode 6 and after that I'll just finish all of my Clone Wars figures and Rebels figures and just wait till Star Wars uh, Friday on the 4th of September day after my birthday so hopefully with some of the birthday money I get I can buy all new brand new Star Wars figures so I'd just like to say thanks for watching 
If you're watching this video for the first time, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, keep collecting and may the force be with you.